Hi everyone, today I thought I would do part three of this craft haul. And like I said before, I said that there would probably be a part three. And the reason I said a part three is only because I never got to show you anything that was under the bed as far as craft things. And I do have quite a bit of things that are under the bed that are craft things. And that's because I don't have a lot of places to store everything that is craft related. So, um, I thought I would show you what is under the bed. Um, some things I will go into detail, um, some things I will not. And yeah, so, um, other than that, let's get started. Um, there are a couple of things under here that are not craft related craft related so I'll just pull those pull those things out that are not craft related so other than that let's get right into the video so um like this container that is not craft related that's just my cords to my um like computers and chargers for cameras and stuff like that. Um, right here, I'll move that. But um, right here, I have no place to put these right now. But these are all my adult coloring books. Um, I do have quite a bit because I like coloring in these. But yeah, so these are adult coloring books and these are really fun to do. Um, they keep you very busy. I do have tons of coloring books um, that are not adult coloring books. But if you want to keep yourself very busy, I recommend these. And they also are therapy related. When I mean therapy related, I mean they're supposed to be relaxing and stuff like that. I mean coloring is relaxing, but I mean these have more of like details like this is like all cat faces so I mean like these things are more on the advanced sides so you're doing a lot more details to color and and stuff like that so it takes a lot longer and you're more into what colors you want to do next so if you were to do this I mean you're gonna decide on what color you want to do the main possibly like what each color hair you want to do and like over here you might want to do purple up here and red here or green here and stuff like that so other than that those are my adult coloring books right here is my stash of polymer clay and I just keep it in this container um, I did get a bigger container because my polymer clay was getting pretty big and I just have tons of polymer clay right here and then these smaller things right here are called eraser clay so what you would do is you would make your figure that you want to and actually it would erase so that's what that is and if you bought like um, a sampler pack you also get that size because um, I've bought the sampler packs. So yeah. And I'm very sorry if this video is long. I do have quite a bit of craft things. So I do apologize for that. Ow. Oh. Okay, next I have my big thing of glycerin, clear glycerin soap, and this is to make soap, and you would need the molds, and you need the fragrance, and anything that you want to use, and it tells you how to heat it up, and to pour it, and you can make this any way you want to, as long as you have what you need for it. 
So I have everything and this is a 10 pound block and these are about $50. Uh, depending on where you get it but normally these are about $50. And um, you can get these at Michael's, AC Moore, Hobby Lobby. Um, those are the only craft stores that are around me. And um, yeah so... When you get this kind of mold, you kind of have to release it from the thing and then cut them in chunks. So, um, it does last a long time. If you're making tons of soap, I would recommend this over the smaller size. Glycerin soap. Okay. Next we have is actually my this is pretty much my jewelry making stuff. And, um, it's basically what it is. So in here I have everything you pretty much need for jewelry making. So I have, um, this is instructions for something that I was doing. But I have some wooden beads that I had no room to put things in. I have wire. I have some, like, string. I have buttons, some more buttons, I have E6000 glue, bottle cap, um, hole maker, all of my, uh, wire cutters, all of my jewelry making supplies are down there. Some more buttons, some leather beads, some tape. This was something that I was working on, but it didn't turn out the way that I wanted. Some jewelry string. And then some more wire. And then I have all kinds of elastic cord around here. And then some under there, I have some uh, keychain rings. And those buttons I use for to make hemp jewelry. So I pretty much went into detail with really that is pretty much what is in here actually um I don't know if that is what is there might be more in here I'm not too sure but I'm pretty sure that is what is, is exactly what is in here And with the gauge or wire, there are different size gauge wires. And I make bee critters, so um, that's why I go with the gauge or wires. So depending on the kind of beads that I'm going to use would be depending on the size wire gauge that I use for those. So I'm going to put that back. And then I did go into details, I, I believe, about what is in here. And all of what is in here is all kinds of beads. Um, I do have tons of beads and I have a two-part video on all my bead collection. So, yep. Now, I use a lot of my bees to make jewelry, to do bee critters, and all that kind of stuff. So, I hope I don't get any glare of, like, the light because this is shiny plastic. So, what I think I'm going to do is, like, maybe put it on... Okay like this yeah that works 
so you're not getting the glare of the light. But what this is, actually, um, I got it for a Christmas present. It's supposed to be a bead loom, and you attach these two plastic sides there, and two... Okay, focus. Two plastic sides there, but the plastic sides came off. And then it came with a bunch of seed beads, but the loom does not work right. So I have a klutz book and it came with a loom anyway, so I'm just going to use that loom and just use the beads and everything in here. Um, and I also use these beads for like jewelry making anyways and stuff. And then in here, you'd be surprised, but I got this, this a long time ago. And I still have like tons of beads. I mean, it came with a lot of beads, but I've used tons of beads in here. I mean, that one's my favorite mix, the pink and white, and that one. But yeah, I've used tons of beads in here. So next, this is all of my hep string, and I just keep it in this container. So, um... I have like this in so I have some thin hemp some Christmas colors rainbow and then some thinner hemp and some sparkle hemp and here I have some even though it says red white and blue I reuse bags that are no longer being used for other things that were craft other craft things so, um, there's all different colored hemp in here. These are some plastic beads that I really like. And the holes are big enough to put on the hemp. Here I have some, just of your basic hemp. Here I have some funky color hemp, like really bright. And then here I just have some really pretty colored hemp and here this is some of your neutral colors and then some non-neutral colors more neutral colors and then down here um is some non the neutral colors another ball of neutral colors and then i have this like uh, thing of hemp it's called earthy I think it kind of looks like um army colors that's why I got it and then I got this ball of rainbow hemp brown hemp and then another ball of natural hemp so I'm just gonna put this stuff all back okay sticking out all right next one um my loom bands are in another container which I did a video on all of my loom bands but these are actually my loom um some are non-rainbow loom so um and the other ones 
So some, okay, let me explain better. Some are non-rainbow loom, the other ones are. So, um, right here, these are actually in here, um, all rubber bands that come with, um, the rainbow loom kits. So this has the rainbow loom kit bands and the monster tail kit bands. This is a crazy loom. This one is a royal loom bands kit. And then I have my rainbow loom down there. And then I have the directions on for the crazy loom. And then the crazy loom bands. And then this is the crazy loom band hook. So yeah. Um, those are my um, loom my looms to do uh, rainbow looms. Okay, so in these two, so I have two more boxes and that would be it. So in here I have my glitter body art set. And these are glitter tattoos. So it comes with one, two, three, four, four things of shimmer glitter, the glue to put it on with, and then two brushes. So on the back it shows you the stencils, the brushes, and then the glitter. And you get some rhinestones. I also have this 3D card kit to make uh, cards for people. I also have um, a tattoo thing where you do this thing. It has the stencils and then there are the pens. So there are the tattoo pens and it also has some temporary tattoos. And then I have some Play-Doh. It also has some, um, this is the animal activity bucket. also has some cookie cutters inside so you can cut the animals out of the Play-Doh and have some fun with it. Um, I also have my hot glue gun, which is this little one. And this one is a low and you're curious that will focus this okay this is a low and high temp so depending on what you're working on you will set the different temps I have two bags of all-purpose sticks and these are dual sticks so you can use them for low, dual, and high. So those are the ones that I always look for. So if you're curious, if your hot glue gun is a certain way like mine. And then I have this cord activity project. Then in here I just have some crystals that people have given to me for different kind of projects to do. So I'm not going to take them out to show you, but there are different kinds of crystals that um, people were going to throw out. So they give them to me, and yeah. So I thought that was pretty nice of them. I mean, what better way not to recycle? And the only reason that they might throw them out is because um, either they've ordered too much in the store and they um, that's the only reason that they're throwing them out. So they ask 
ask um, somebody if they wanted them and they said yes so they gave them to me so because they know I do um, all kinds of projects and they know that I would find good use for them And this bucket would be the last bucket. I'm going to have to really move this out of the way because it's very heavy because of those crystals. And that's why. Okay. This would be my bucket that I use to make all of my bee critters or land yarns. Um, I also do land yarns like if you're wondering what land yarns are you can do like different kind of stitches and like make keychains with them so that's also um, a simple one is called the box stitch. You must know the box stitch in order to do any of them. So I have some of this string, but um, you you can make stuff with it, but it's not really long enough. So you really need to make like short things with it. And then I have some crystals stuff. I thought it would be long enough because I made um, a zipper stitch before with a book that I got from Klutz but it wasn't long enough so you can make these into keychains with this stuff. This is my pony bee collection. So in here this is just a pony bee mix of all kinds of random pony bees. These are colored pony bees. And here I have my small color pony beads. I really don't want to take this stuff out because then it becomes really hard to put it in. Here I have shiny pony beads, my metallics. Um, here I have just spaghetti string. And then here I have all colors of Rex Lace. And then down below I have my big bundles of Rex Lace. And then I have my keychains and like land yarn hooks and all that good stuff in there. I also have which is called a Rex Lace um, holder. So you can use that if you're going to make a land yarn hook so you do not have to use your fingers. Um, it's called an easy gripper. Um, if I could there I can easily get to it they look like that and you can um, buy those right at the craft store and you can use those in place of using your fingers to make the box stitch and it's a lot more easier that way so yep so thanks for watching part three of my craft craft tour. So yeah, so um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'm sorry this was not a craft tutorial. I do apologize. Um, so yeah, so thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.